my friends, Smash Brethren, and loyal 200 plus subscribers. It has been five months since Smash Ultimate graced our lives. In that time, we've seen heroes rise, legends fall, and friendships have been tested. Yet, in our darkest hour, one phrase holds us together. One phrase unifies us all under one banner. One phrase that all Smash players, young and old, can read aloud and say, Yeah, you right. F**k. Ness. Hello everyone, and welcome to a video tutorial for Smash Ultimate. Today, I want to tell all of you how you can fix your festering Ness problem faster than you can save Flex Tape. And hopefully, with these helpful tips, this kid will go from one of your most hated enemies into one of your easiest prey. First, let's go over Ness's biggest strength, which you probably would not expect. His annoyingness. Now, obviously, anyone who's ever fought one of these little buggers knows the pain of PK fire being used over and over again. But it's not just you who finds that annoying. Ness players know they're a nuisance. They know Ness's voice is grating, and they especially know how annoyed you probably are getting caught in a pillar of fire for the upteenth time. And that is exactly what they want. They want you to get angry with them. They want you to see Red in charge at them and just die and get the kill because the more mad you are, the more stupid mistakes you'll make and the more you'll run into their traps. But if you can just overcome the anger, tune out the annoying voice, play with your head, find a peaceful place, then maybe you just might be able to- Ah, shit! F God damn it. Son of a bitch! No! Ah! Okay, so let's say you're like me and you say peace and tranquility. How do we beat Ness as violently as possible in this game? It's time to exploit his weaknesses. Easily Ness's biggest weakness, as I'm sure some of you have already been told, is his recovery. Unlike every other character who can just press up B and then, you know, go up, Ness's up B is PK Thunder, which won't boost him in any direction unless he hits himself with the bolt. The action is much slower to perform than most recoveries in this game, and it's easily when Ness is at his most vulnerable. Competent players could easily go off stage and spike Ness before he hits himself with the bolt, but if you aren't fast enough... Yeah, that could get ugly fast. The safest and most effective way of messing up Ness's recovery is to use a character with a counter or reflector to either counter Ness as he ascends, or to keep the bolt away from him, respectively. Characters like Rosalina, Marth, and Joker are all good picks against Ness for this reason, as they can stop Ness's recovery and still save themselves without issue. However, a smart Ness player, and believe me, those do actually exist, will know not to rely on their recovery to save them, and will typically DI upwards to save their mid-air jump, and use directional air dodges to avoid using it as much as possible. When you see them do this, it's important to make their attempts to get back to the stage as difficult as possible. The characters previously mentioned, plus all three links, have good tools at their disposal to cover a lot of Ness's options in the air. But let's say you just can't force Ness to use his recovery, and he's avoiding all your attempts to edge guard him. What can you do then? Well, if edge guarding won't work, maybe ledge trapping will. Certain characters have particularly nasty ledge trapping tools that Ness just isn't too well equipped to handle. And no one in this game ledge traps better than the Belmonts. Playing this way certainly won't make you any friends online, but sometimes you gotta fight fire with fire. Evil with evil. Using these tips, you should have an easier time killing Ness, but first you have to actually get to the point where you can, you know, kill him. And to get to that point, you have to go through more of Ness's BS. So, let's go through some of Ness's tools and figure out how we can get over them. Starting with the elephant in the room, PK Fire, also known as So Vile Not Even Satan Would Touch It, is every Ness main's favorite in the spam and gives Smash players nightmares. However, thanks to the changes in patch 3.0, dealing with this move has gotten a lot easier. You can now parry this most hated move and react to it much faster than you used to be able to. If you're fast enough, you might even land a solid hit in. Even without parrying, though, you can still shield against this move and be safe from the flames, unlike, you know, other characters. 
Next, PK Thunder. Now this move may seem busted and scary at first when you think about it, being able to move in multiple directions and from what it can do to Ness if he hits himself. But it's actually pretty safe to directional air dodge through it. Ness can't cancel PK Thunder mid-use like they can with his missile, so if you can get around the bolts and hit him before he loops around and hits himself, you can get a free smack in there. PK Flash. If you get hit by this move, there is no hope for you. Just unplug the controller. PK Magnet is the number one deterrent for people wanting to use their projectiles against Ness. After all, no one wants to actually heal this rotten brat. But never fear, because this move actually doesn't work against physical projectiles, such as Link's Arrows and Boomerang, Rosalina's Luma, K. Rule's Crown and Cannonball, Peach's Turnups, Yoshi's Eggs, Zelda's Phantom, and so much more. That pretty much covers it for specials, but there is one more nasty trick that Ness can do that I want to cover real quick. His yo-yo. By positioning himself in just the right way when either using his up or down smash, Ness's yo-yo will go off stage, blocking the ledge with its active hitbox. Your best hope when Ness is trying to do this is to pray that your recovery snaps the ledge without issue, then immediately get up attack. It's the best and safest way to ensure you hit Ness without him hitting you thanks to the invincibility frames that you get. Finally, when they simply want to kill you as quickly as possible, Ness will often fish for a back throw near the ledge. While he no longer has the strongest back throw in the game, this move has dashed many a player's hopes for victory in the blink of an eye. Honestly, the best advice that I could give for people wanting to avoid this move is to just be aware of it. Watch Ness's movements carefully, especially when you're at high percent, and try to stay close to the center of the stage, because one back throw from him could mean the difference between life and death. And that does it! We have covered all of Ness's most annoying and deadly tricks and found ways to dismantle them. Hopefully some of you found this helpful and will use this advice to best the next Ness main that you're forced to fight against in the future. And if you are a Ness main yourself watching this video and you found what I said somewhat hurtful, just remember this. At least you're not a Lucas main. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, why not hit that like button to let me know you want to see more videos like this in the future. And comment down below to let me know what specific characters you want me to cover in future videos. And if you really enjoy the videos that I make on this channel, please consider subscribing to catch new uploads every week. I'm Thomas the Board, and thank you for watching.